Hello from the Crystal Coast. This is Pastor Kevin, and it's Wednesday, June the 24th. I want to share a couple of verses with you today from Acts chapter 18. It's Luke's record of uh, Paul's uh, journeys as he's taking the gospel around the Mediterranean. Um, it says, Acts 18, verse 24, Now a Jew named Apollos, a native of Alexandria, came to Ephesus. He was an eloquent man, competent in the scriptures. He had been instructed in the way of the Lord. And being fervent in spirit, he spoke and taught accurately the things concerning Jesus, though he knew only the baptism of John, which is Luke's way of saying that this is a time of transition in God's activity in the world. He began to speak boldly in the synagogue, but when Priscilla and Aquila heard him, they took him aside and explained to him the way of God more accurately. And when he wished to cross to Achaia, the brothers encouraged him and wrote to the disciples to welcome him. When he arrived, he greatly helped those who, were, uh, who through grace had believed. For he powerfully refuted the Jews in public, showing by the scriptures that the Christ was Jesus. So just a couple of uh, notes of encouragement to us today as we uh, seek to be faithful uh, in this mission that, that God has given us in this world to represent him and to share the good news about uh, Jesus with others. Uh, the first one is, uh, like uh, Apollos, let's make sure that we develop the abilities that God has given us, that we, it says he was an eloquent man. Uh, which tells me that this was something that he worked at. So as if God has given you an ability or an, a, gift, a gift, don't just assume uh, that it'll, uh, it'll operate at full capacity. You've got to work to develop that. So let's, let's leverage, let's make the most of the abilities that God's given us. Second, grow in your competency in the Scriptures. That, that's something that you, you, we don't get automatically. That's something that we develop, that we work at. We, we read God's Word. We study it. We, we think hard and long about what God is saying in the Scriptures. We meditate on it. We memorize it. Um, so grow in your competency of the Word of God. And then third, like Apollos, be open and, and teachable. Uh, don't take on this air that, that that you can't learn anything, that nobody can teach us anything. I, I, I've, I've got it down. No, be open to learning uh, more about God's Word, more about how uh, you can be a part of what God's doing in this world. Be teachable. Uh, fourth, do whatever you do with passion. Uh, that goes a long ways. If, if, if people see... They may not always agree with us, but at least let's make sure they know that we believe what we are saying. And that, that comes when we do it with passion, when we share God's Word with passion. And then share what you know and, and keep learning. Uh, don't just keep it to yourself. If God's teaching you something, take an opportunity to share that with others. And then finally, focus on being an encouragement to others. Just make it standard operating procedure. I, I'm going to make it my goal to encourage someone today, to be a blessing, to build somebody up up today. And, and God will take all of that and he will use it for his glory to accomplish his purposes in this world. So let me pray for you today. Uh, Father, I thank you that, that it's possible for us to be a part of what you are doing, that even in these days, Lord, that you would give us the privilege of seeing you move powerfully through us as we take opportunity to, to use the gifts and the abilities you've given us to, to, to develop them, to make the most of them, to learn what you have revealed to us in your word, and then just faithfully share that good news with others. That's, that's what I ask for us today. And as we do that, Lord, we know that, um, that you'll work through us to be a blessing and encouragement to others. And that, and that uh, the joy that we experience in our relationship with you 
uh, others will be able to experience that same joy as well. And so that would be my prayer for us today, right here on the Crystal Coast, in Jesus' name, amen. Tonight, I get the privilege of interviewing Kelly Mitchell, Kelly's husband, uh, Mike, and uh, their uh, two kids, Sterling and Sailor. Uh, she's got a precious family, and I know you'll be encouraged uh, by what you hear from Kelly this evening. Um, in these days, let's ask God to give us the privilege of seeing him work power powerfully through us uh, as we show by the scriptures that Jesus really is the one that was promised to come. And then let's just continue to love our community like never before.